Greetings and welcome to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this is a really, I don't know, it's such a cute special game. It is a colony builder and we're going to be building dams and we're going to be cutting down trees because we're beavers. We're Timberborn. Yes, we are beavers. And um, you can play this game right now. It has a free demo on Steam. I have played this game in the past, um, but I felt it kind of lacked something. But uh, I recently have played it again and I'm like, yeah, wow, they have added so much polish. Even like this beginning screen is so beautiful. It, this was not here. We didn't have music. We didn't have nice menus and stuff. Um, but also the gameplay has gotten a lot deeper and that's what's more important to me. And the music has gotten a little bit louder than I expected. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay. We are going to be the Beavers of Demoria. Free spirits by nature, they specialize in surviving in the most desolate land through sheer determination. They lack the unique characteristics of their distant full game cousins. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we have the Iron Teeth. These are not available in the demo, but I'm going to go ahead and read it anyway. Defectors of the true ways of timber. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress with ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for their environment. <laughs> their motto, work hard, work hard. <laughs> and then there is a mystery beaver. Uh, soon to come into here but we're gonna play this and um, we have two maps we have the plains or the canyon I'm gonna go ahead and choose the plains because it's gonna be a little bit of a better start the game has has all kinds of different things you might have seen a demo in the past but they've added season things like seasons like you can have a dry season wet season and farmland goes all kinds of dry and uh yeah oh this is so cute they're like hi ho hi ho off to work we go <laughs> look at this oh that's so great i never noticed that okay so we're gonna pause the game first of all and we do have the tutorial on just to kind of help you follow along with things. And um, so the first thing it tells us is build a log pile and mark trees for cutting. Now, initially, we start off with our sort of our lodge here. Uh, this is called the Builder's Hut. This is our main builder's hut. It's like the center of town and it employs up to four builders. Now, there's nobody out here yet. They're all inside. We have 11 beavers, 11 or seven are adults and four are children and all are homeless. This is not ideal. Now, one of the cool things about this game that sets it apart, and I guess it's kind of should be obvious from the landscape, is that, that it is a 3D colony builder. And we have things that are like lodges, like, and they look funny. They are just square. That's because you can stack them like a skyscraper if you want. So um, we need to build all kinds of stuff for our beavers, but there is a definite order of things that you should go about it in the very beginning of the game. Uh, one of the most important things is water. We need a water pump to go and get our beavers some water because otherwise they'll die of thirst. That's not a good look on them. So we're gonna cut, we're gonna set these trees for cutting and we can just do this like this. One of the cool things I like about this game very much is the whole like, if I wanna cut uh, just these trees on top and not these, uh, I can select this and I can go anywhere I want and it'll just select that area. Uh, uh, and al alternatively, I can just do this and it will not select the trees on the next level. That's really nice when you're working with areas where you can't really see very well, but you just want all in a certain area. And also to prevent from, because you need stairways or see there's one here. There's like a natural rock stairway. You need those to get onto the higher levels. I can't just like jump up the cliffs. Um, so that's really useful if you want to prohibit them from going to a place that's like too long of a walk or whatever. So um, what we want to do now is we want to build, as they say, build a log pile. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me build that. I'm going to build the log pile very close to these trees. So let's see what we want to do here. Our, it's a storage item. That's right there. That's housing. Here's the storage thing. Gosh. All right. So log pile, I'm going to build it quite close here. And I'm going to line it up uh, kind of near this uh, along side the uh, the builder's hut. 
Uh, we can build paths. They're not that important initially. They do help the beavers travel faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build very basic paths. And one of the more important things is that they get down to the water quite quickly so that they can um, they can uh, slate their thirst. Uh, slake their thirst. Yes. No, slaking. Yes. Is that the right word? Oh my god, I've, I've completely forgotten. They can reduce their thirst to zero. <laughs> Let's use that. Uh, anyway, oh my gosh, apparently the brain is not working well today. I apologize for that. I'm hoping I can reboot while we're just talking here. It'll be fine. Anyway, and we have things like dams that will help us keep the water in flow or out of too much flow, shall we say. So anyway, what we want to do first is we've marked the trees. We have the stuff and let's say hi to our beavers. Hey. How you doing? Yay. Okay, so they're doing well. Uh, they're happy, happy critters here. Okay, so we need stuff. I think they should. Do we need to build? I always forget if we need to build a, a lumberjack's post. We might need to. Yeah, I think we do. I think we need to build this lumberjack's flag. I'm going to go ahead and build it here in the middle of the forest there. And that allows beavers to become builders. Though so actually, we shouldn't need this, right? Because they if they oh they do actually have some logs right now so they can build something so they have built this we need to put this on a priority so you can use it this way or there's a really nice tool here which you can assign priorities just by clicking and dragging an area which is really nice we're gonna have those roads we're gonna put those down to the least priority they are so far down we don't really care about them but anyway as beavers we don't have a need for axes we are quite content to just chew down the trees manually i mean mouthily no <laughs> It'll be mouthy with the trees. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is build. I want to build several water tanks. So we're going to build. Let's see. We'll have one, two, three. And we're going to mark these prioritar prioritarily. Yes, that's a new word. Uh, like this. We're going to have one as a major uh, green and the other as a secondary green. Now... They kind of need homes as well. I know that <laughs> might be a surprise, but they do. So um, another thing that we also need to do is get the gathering under control, which um, so a gathering flag is, is kind of like the lumberjack flag. It, it allows the beavers to collect stuff in an area. So these are ba a be uh, berry gathering here. This is our berry gathering flag. We're going to go ahead and put that up to high priority. And here, this is a fun thing. So we, there's a barrier here, a natural barrier blocking water. If we demolish this, you'll see what happens. This is quite cool. Let's see if we can. I wonder if they're going to do that first or last. I have no idea. But the, um, the amount of green stuff you get. Let me just go fast, fast forward during the night. Uh, the, the land that is irrigated, the green on the ground is directly related to the path of the river. So if we get this barrier gone, that means the water can flow in here and therefore we're going to get another area of green up here, which is going to help us later when we kind of need some for the farmland and other things and to kind of extend our ability to... Uh, water our beavers because if we have this full of water then we can put another water pump over here and that's even better so there we go okay we now have a uh, a very nice buildup of materials here so i want to build something like uh we need to build housing but i have, i first want to build okay let's build a I think it's important to get a leisure place, a campfire, where our beavers can relax. So I want to build that first. And I also want to build a science center. And when I'm building these things, mostly I am also just making space, kind of. So let's get a path here. We'll just build a path down this way. And this is where we're going to have our farms. I think. So I want to build a, let's do, do a little bit more path, path work here. Okay. And then I want to build housing. We're going to set the priorities of these things in a bit. So let's build a house 
here. Mm, sure. Yeah, that's fine. We'll build three houses. And then I'm going to have one, two spaces. Sure, two spaces is fine. And then build some on the other side. And there's a reason for these spaces, which will become apparent later. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and set the priorities of these various things. Uh, again, paths are going to be red, I think. Oh, those are already done. That's fine. Oh, 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 you see? Water creeping in, making the greens happen. Good stuff. Beautiful. Okay, let's do that. Then housing is going to be medium high. Uh, these are also going to be medium high. It's important to research stuff. And then I want to make farms. We really, really need farms right now. And I think I want to make a warehouse first. Let's make a small warehouse here. Yep. And this is going to be maybe for storing potatoes or something. Just going to leave that on neutral priority. It's not going to be needed until we actually have uh, uh, food to put in these warehouses. So let's build a couple of farms. Oh, no, no, no. Hello. Okay, two farms. And I'm going to do one at very high priority and one at second high priority. And then we want to plant crops. Now the crop planting, first of all, I think what I do want to do is get a road leading from this gatherer's place to the main building there. And then I want to plant crops. So let's see, where is that? This one's here. So there are two different crops that we can currently plant, which are potatoes and carrots. Um, carrots can be eaten raw, which is great. They take four days to grow. Potatoes, however, uh, can be grilled and they provide more food as far as I remember. I'm going to go ahead and start these things over here like this. And then we'll add a bit of carrots just for the funsies I guess we're just gonna plant them in the midst of of this other stuff eventually I want to get rid of these trees because these are absolutely not needed um this is prime farmland and those trees can just take a hike or whatever trees do to brush off yeah <laughs> anyway um let me finish uh we have this water pump is going well our, um, the water pump needs a person pumping water. It's a manual activity. We cannot, there's no like pipes to go to these water pumps. I kind of wish there were, as in, I wish that they could say they're pumping maybe all day instead of carrying like buckets of water or whatever. But, um, I guess it's a balanced thing that it is done in the way that it is. Uh, one of the things that happens is when your, your beavers go and, uh, delete these trees, new ones pop up. So that's, that's a nice thing to do. There is also a forestry hut if we want to. And that is here. Yep. And you can, um, I think they automatically replant trees or something. I can't remember exactly. It's been a tiny bit of time. I did refresh my memory by playing a test game, but there's still some things I was like, oh, wait a second. I didn't quite get to whatever. And then, yeah, it's, it's fine. I really wanted to record this and get this out to you because there are so many glorious demos and most of them are limited time only on Steam. So it's really important for me to just, uh, uh, gain some knowledge on a game and then just kind of show it to you and see if you want to play it because I think that's a bit more valuable of an experience. All right, we have our first house made. It is right over here and we have our beavers in the housing there. Um, three <laughs> fit there. We now have six fitting in housing. Sure. Good, good. Now I'm not going to name the beavers uh, after patrons as normally I would do, but they are because they kind of have fairly short lives. Uh, so yeah. Oh, well, okay. So here we have a little bit of, of an issue. We want to get at least two workers in this farmhouse and we need to maybe shuffle them from other places. So I'm thinking maybe take them off. Oh, we have a lumberjack flag somewhere. It is a mysterious place for me, apparently. Oh, here it is. Oh, geez. I forgot that there's one over there. Okay. Right. All right. So I guess we can stop this lumberjack flag and then just use this one, maybe. 
until those are done. Uh, and that'll give us, yep, there are two farmers. They are working in the fields, planting these beautiful plants. I really like the graphics in this game. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, they're, they're really just nice, just nice. So you can see that they are planting the carrots as well. You can adjust what they do. So prioritized action is harvesting. And then afterward, they will do planting, obviously, as you see them now doing. You can choose a resource to prioritize as well. Because these farm fields, I really like the way the game does it. Like these farm fields are not tied to a specific farmhouse. They're just out there. And if you want more farmers working, as we kind of do, um, you'll have more, um, you'll, you just need to build more buildings and they'll just walk to the farm fields. All right. So we have one, uh, one water tank that is completely full. We are still in the wet season. Oh, I keep forgetting to click this. Okay. Water pump, gather a flag. Yay. Small water tank and dirt path. They want us to build more of those, but those are down, down prioritized. Now, if we run out of trees over there, I'm just going to go ahead and mark these trees over here. And we're going to try to demolish some of those as well. What I'm going to do is I'm, I think I'm just going to pause this and so we can move our employees around a bit. Let's see. Let's get a, a lumberjack flag out here. I think we can just like sneak it. I don't know. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific. I'll just put it out here. Now we now have 82 food and that's berries. Um, so what I do want to do is build a, uh, I want to build a grill because we're going to have our warehouse holding potatoes, hopefully as soon as we get more trees going on. But I do want to get a grill going on here and it uh, creates yeah, grilled potatoes from potatoes, as in you get four grilled from one regular potato. So that's a pretty good nutritional value right there. I think I want to get a storage place here. Let's go ahead and put it here right next to the cliff. I think that's a good idea because we could have a staircase up here to go up this cliff if we want to. And then I want to place our grill out here. So that can go right over there. Nice. Let's get our path uh, this away. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so we do have both of our farm buildings. We have, let's go ahead and allow two people to be there. Uh, we are really in a hurry because of the dry season that is going to come. That is a tiny bit scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so tutorial done. Hooray. Um, yeah, it is, it is very scary. It is legit scary is what it is. So we're going to try to get things going here. Okay. So they are going to harvest this stuff. Looking good so far. Looking good. Let's see. Did I mark those? I did mark them all for harvesting. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to demolish these resources, like the trunks here. And the tiny trees, because I don't want to wait for those tiny trees to grow up. I just want to delete them because this part, I think, is going to be one of our key, like, power production and farming, at least initially, before we have had a chance to dam the uh, the river here. And right now, we really need to work on just getting getting uh, all of the housing done. Actually, it is done. We have uh, We have one space open, so that's good. And do we have anybody working in our science place yet? Yes, we do. We are generating science points as we see up here. You can see how much water we have, which is 89. I don't know if that's enough. I'm kind of scared that it's not. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit more in the water department here. Let's go ahead and put those on highest priority. Uh, so that and the grill should finish first. Because as these berries start to dwindle, as they are, all of the berries have been eaten from this area. <laughs> They're no longer there. It's like, nope, not a thing. Okay, this is looking really good, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the demolish flag on all of these newly deleted trees. Or newly, I don't know, eaten trees. Not eaten, but harvested trees, I guess. 
There we go. If you demolish, by the way, uh, you lose the resources. So cut down the big trees and demolish the tiny trees. Okay, look at this. We have carrots. We can see them all getting, you know, they're ripened. You can see the, the, the orange tops peeking out. I really love the graphics. They're very visual. Uh, you can see the difference between the young carrots and when they become uh, ready for that, when they are ripe, ready for harvesting. And the potatoes are very, very obvious when we get there too. So this is working out super, super well. And our beavers are not going to be starving anymore. That's a good thing. Really good thing. So let's just delete this stuff. All of these things, just in case it doesn't have a flag yet. There we go. And so this is going to open up this whole area for building things like power. Which, the power in this game, I hope you will like it. Um, because what it is, it's a water wheel. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's literally great. Uh, yeah, so we have a water wheel and then there is a, we also have a power wheel. The water wheel though gives us much more, uh, uh, power if we have water, of course. And we're doing really well right now, I gotta say, doing really well. And hopefully it will continue to stay this way. But, um, yeah. Anyway, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll get there. We'll do things and stuff. I want to get this stuff cleared and then we are going to remove this lumberjack flag altogether uh, and then get our beavers harvesting over here. I see we have very little resources, but I really want them to clear this area first so that we can build some other stuff. I'm really pleased with the amount of food that we have. That's great. We are getting a lot of water. This is, oh, oh, here's the potatoes. You can see them. Oh, no, no, darkness. Stop it darkness you're not my old friend right now go away <laughs> oh something happened okay so uh, yeah we have beavers growing up and one of them moved in or somebody got a baby born i'm not sure um but yeah we have now 12 beavers uh living there oh no a child was born i think maybe i don't know that's cool but yeah we need to oh yeah there goes another house going up perfect perfect and hopefully our beavers will fix this area here. Can I, I wonder if I can prioritize these things as high. I can, oh my gosh. This is good. I'm gonna also prioritize this one as fairly high. Okay, so what was this gonna be? This was gonna be our small warehouse. I think we need to be very high priority on this. This thing um, I was going to make for, let's see. We're gonna go allowed none. And then we're going to go berries, carrots, and potatoes, and grilled potatoes. Yeah. And we'll put these up to 50, I guess. I'm not really sure how many to put here. I really like the auto-balancing thing from, uh, from before we leave. I love that feature. It's so good. Like, you don't have to manually click all the stuff. You can just, like, have it, like, okay, even numbers of all the stuff or... You know, stuff like that. It's cool. Or or basically not have to set a number. Uh, so, yeah. Default or none. Hmm. That's interesting. And, of course, there's a nice, nice button here. Or a, a checkbox for emptying the storage. Which is, you know, basically getting rid of everything and putting it into another storage. I think that's a good, good thing. All right, so we don't have any potatoes. Oh, well, oh, here are the potatoes, by the way. Looks like they snuck up on us while I was just like talking about other things. This is so funny that they're in the flowers as well as the potatoes, but it's so evocative. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. What I usually do with my huts, by the way, is I do one place uh, prioritize harving, harvesting and one place prioritizing planting so that there's kind of a nice... Um, balance of things there now has this been done it has almost almost done almost done and at this point then i'm going to just uh unpause this i think i'm going to leave this one paused we don't really need it we're going to get rid of this here shortly as soon as those two stumps are gone i'm really surprised that we haven't gone to the dry season yet this is a bit like oh hmm. we have two children now new babies being born that's so cute and I think that's probably for um, the camp 
the, the effect of the campfire in previous versions i'm not sure if it's true in this version but previous versions this was the place where young social beavers could meet up and have a good time right <laughs> so <laughs> yeah anyway that was what they did it was fun um anyway that that was the thing that allowed them to breed basically anyway i want to i guess we can we can be sneaky and start on a dam here i kind of want to do a dam uh okay so let's 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 plan this out i think i think it would be good if we did like kind of save all of the farmland we possibly can but maybe also make a pathway so if we hmm, this would not be an ideal pathway all the way out there to go here maybe to get these trees however um i guess we could do here but then that's many more squares of we could do it here this might be a good ish place i don't know uh where was that where was it it was under wood no not under wood it was somewhere else there it is landscaping damn one two three four five six seven and then this is one two three four five six seven eight yeah, I don't know. One, two, three, six, seven. Yeah, this is the seven one. I'm thinking here would be a good compromise uh, for now. Because we can always maybe build a second dam. Though this is our primary source of trees. So maybe this is a better spot anyway because of the tree situation. I think it might be. Okay, let's build... The dam for the purposes of saving the trees do we want to do yeah we probably want to do something like this just save ourselves some extra tiles now this is not the standard standard kind of dam but uh hopefully it'll work okay so this i think is just out of building range i believe that it is so i think we need to get a builder flag out here so I'm going to go ahead and just put one there so we can start building this dam. We have lots of water, 153 water. Um, okay amount of food. Uh, we need to get the potatoes grilling, I think. So what I wanted to do here is I want to do none. This is the place I want to have the carrots and the berries, as in all of the just I don't know, edible stuff that is free to eat. Now, here is where I want to have the potatoes and the grilled potatoes because the grilling place is right here. So I want them to have uh, stuff to be brought here. Actually, what I'm going to do is grilled potatoes can be like, let's do 150 of each. Because as the potatoes go down, then the grilled potatoes are going to take that space. So that's fine. All right. And this should be good. I guess we just need someone to work here. What do we got on uh, people here? Let's see. Builder flag one. Why are they not dealing with this? Hello. Let's just mark these as super important. Help. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's not, a, that's not convenient. Let's cut this tree. Hello? Cut tree. Um, okay, and then let's see. Farmhouse for gathering flag, grill. Yeah, lumberjack flag. Lumberjack flag is where we are having some issues, I think. I want to take two off of there and just... Wait, was that... That builder's name is Equinus? Really? That's funny. Okay. Cool, cool. It's a thing. All right. Okay, so now, oh, look at this. See, they have a ladder. They practice building ladders in here. It's great. Builders are builders. Okay, they did demolish this tree. Well, they didn't demolish it. They cut it. But we want to demolish that tree as a matter of priority, please. 
And later, we can actually plant trees and, and bushes, uh, but we need to have other things for that. So the dry season is approaching, as you see. This is really scary. I don't think we're going to get to finish this dam by the time the dry season approaches. So we better have enough food and water. Let's look at these crops here. 38%. I don't think they're going to get to 100 by the time we need to harvest them. So that's... Oh, but we do have some carrots. Look at this. We do actually have carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of these on harvesting priority. Hopefully we're going to get a daytime before the dry season gets too far so that it, we, at least we can harvest these carrots. We've been really lucky. Well, for, for thinking, for planning in getting all of these crops up fast enough that we could actually get this stuff done. Okay, I want to plant, I guess we can plant uh, not potatoes, but carrots there. Just fill in that last little spot. And we should have enough food, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. We don't, do we still have nobody at the grill? Yeah, nobody at the grill. But that won't be a problem very shortly, as you will see. All right, so beavers making stuff happen. Woohoo. Woo woo. All right, water is going. I think, I wonder if this is a builder flag problem. Let me demolish this thing. Yeah, delete the building. Um, I wonder if that's what it is. Yeah, I think this is a building problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a builder flag out here. We're just going to, let's see, if this thing is there, I can put this like there. And that way, if we build a dam over here or a walkway of some sort, then we can have this road going straight across and into this next section. And maybe this builder's flag will cover it. I guess I could have put it even further down, but it's okay. I want to, I want to save as much room as possible for water pumps. That's kind of an important thing to me. So let's get this dirt path going all the way like this. All right. We do have two sections completed, but no, no way it's getting from there. But let's see how this is. Does it show the animation of the water spilling? No. I think it's just because, so it has a spillway at the top, but the water's going around it. As you can see, it is actually animated with, with physics. <laughs> physics TM, good stuff, right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, so that's nice. Now, we let's look at science. Um, so we have 174 science points right now. I'm feeling like I would really like to have a, um, a lumberjack area, as in a place where they can actually replant trees uh, with more gusto than they are currently appearing. So I want to look, let's see. If we go here, we can build the forester. That's 60 science points. Yeah, let's go for that. A forester. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so the forester is going to do stuff and things. Let's put them maybe maybe here, actually. We could actually have the forest stuff going on that side of things, too. Let's put it here. And then... I'm not sure how we want to do the road here. I guess we can do this kind of a thing. And... I'm not sure if it's more important to have a log storage here as well as here. Uh, or just have one over here. And who does the hauling? I've kind of forgotten how that part of the game works. But hopefully we'll figure it out. It should be fine. Let's just delete that resource. And I want to mark these guys. I forgot if I marked these up. I did not. So let's mark those up as a higher priority. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we have 18 spots here. I want to see, can we afford another thing, which I think is pretty useful, which is platforms. Now, platforms and stairs are pretty good. At the moment, we don't actually need the stairs. So I'm just going to grab the platforms. And we're going to build some here and then build one here because we can cheat and use these stairs to get up here. <laughs> uh, we can also go here that that way through a platform, go on top of that building. 
So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with uh, platforms and stairs and buildings and stuff. So I think, do we have enough to get the stairs? No, we need 70 science points. That's okay. We have our Leonardo working in here. Actually, it's Vrudom working there. Dry season. Dry season's happening. Oh, dear. Doesn't look very dry yet, but I promise you it will come. Oh, okay. It will come. It will come. <laughs> It'll just come. It seems to be okay for now. But watch, watch things. Oh no, it's night. Oh, there comes the dry season. Here's the scary season. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause our farms because they can't do anything anyway. Things are not ready to harvest. Uh, oh, wow. Die in 0.8 days. Let's see. They might harvest this stuff because it does say resources potatoes one. They are managing to collect these carrots. That's pretty good. Okay. Growth progress 98%. I wonder if if our um, beavers can harvest that or not. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. It looks like they're they're just hanging out. So I'm going to pause stuff because they can't do anything anyway. It's better for them to work on building stuff. Uh, except for the fact we have no trees. <laughs> that, that's slightly inconvenient. However, we can fix this slightly. So let's go ahead and play and press just one to go to normal speed. I would like to take this road up this way and go onto here um, so that they can they can build roads. And I also want to set up a new uh, lumberjack station over here. Let's set this one up right here. And I'm going to make another storage. I want to make a log pile storage right there. Actually, no. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I, I was going to change the entrance to this side, but I don't think it matters that much. As in, it may be okay just to leave it as it is. So let's mark the trees here for cutting. And again, this is only tree cutting. So even if these bushes are in that area, it's not going to affect them. I think we have enough food to, to go through the dry season without worrying about this stuff. So I'm not going to bother getting these berries up here. I think it's going to be fine. All right. So things are sad. Things are happening to all of these plants. Yeah. Dried out and died. Sad times. Uh, <laughs> this is not good as you can see, but it's okay. I think we're going to be pretty good. We have lots of grilled potatoes and we have plenty of carrots and um, some berries left as well. But now's a good time for our beavers to be proactive here and make all the roads, make the storages and hopefully try to build some stuff. Now this thing is definitely not done yet. Uh, the cool thing about this game, and this is the thing that actually made me pick up the game, is that we have power shafts uh, and gears and things. And it's great. It's like, oh, this is great. So anyway, we, we are going to have to build a building that, that needs power, which is our lumber mill. That's going to be the very first thing we need. Uh, we need to build. So let's go ahead and put this right here. And that's going to be uh, helped along by this shaft. Now, I was thinking about putting a shaft through the center, but I don't think we actually need to do it. As long as you uh, connect it to one part of a building, any buildings adjacent to it will receive a, um, a bonus there to stuff. Or not a bonus, but they will receive the power, like like a power line kind of. And I'm not really sure how they are connecting these days. In the past, it used to be like you had to build like sort of uh, bridges of uh, stuff over the gears and stuff. But we'll try to find a way to make it work. We could always build a footbridge over the power shaft if we need to. Okay, the wet season is back. Hooray! Let's quickly unpause our farming. And the reason we paused it is just to kind of rejig the employees for other places. That was why we did that. Okay, so things are back. We have, are these finished? No, they're not. Oh, we need planks for those. Aha. Well, that means we need this. We need this then. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this dam on... Do I want to do it on highest priority? I guess I could. You know what? I want the forestry place on highest priority. This is important. We definitely need trees growing here because they have kind of died out. Obviously, some acorns have fallen, but not enough. Definitely not enough. I do feel like we have enough crops to, to go through the dry season. We also had enough water. Now, keep in mind, that's five huge cisterns. We had some left, but still, it's a big thing. Let's see. Now, there is a thing called an irrigation tower, which irrigates the land around it, as in... What we could do if we wanted to is build an irrigation tower and then beavers would carry the water from the water uh, cisterns here, the water uh, tanks, into the irrigation tower to irrigate all of the crops. And so this is two per hour. That's a lot. Um, a large water tank probably would be easier. Let's see. This is capacity 30. This is capacity 300. We need to unlock that for 120 science points. But for now, I do want to get, I think, I think we want to get the stairs. Let's get these. Now, the cool things uh, here are the double and triple platforms, which we don't have yet. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to get some soon. Oh, look, look, we have a thing. We have the lumber mill. But we don't have the water wheel yet. Come on, water wheel. Okay, it needs 50 logs. That's a lot of logs. So I'm thinking what I want to do here is after it's built, then I'm going to build the uh, structure of the shafts. So we probably want to do a power shaft turn uh, this away and this away. Actually, I'll put that one in first because we need to get that one built. ASAP. It's only two logs. I'm going to leave open our options here for getting that uh, working. We have a new well-being high score. That's great. Oh, here we go. There. Look at this. Look at the way the water flows. Is that not great? I love this. It's so good. <laughs> it's so nice. It is It is going a bit fast, I feel. It is going a bit fast, but I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's good. Um, all right. So power. Again, we're going to have a power shaft. T intersection, I think, here. Let's go, or maybe we need just a regular intersection like this. All right, this takes four logs to build. It's a little bit more expensive than the other one. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so that is a thing. I think that I want to build a path. See, the entrance is here. Now, question mark, what do we want to do with this path? Do we want to have a warehouse here somewhere? Maybe. We could put a warehouse because I'm thinking we could have a path going over this thing that way. So let me build a storage building right here. Let's build a warehouse there. This is actually kind of perfect for what we want here. I think. Maybe. We could build it here as well. Uh, in case we wanted this road to go all the way up. Yeah, let's build it in line with this. Um, yeah. And we can fill in whatever unused space with the farmland, which is also a nice thing to do. Go and build this here up a tiny bit. Okay, very good. All right, so let's see if we can get some logs out here. Might be worth having logs here as well. Oh, oh, look, we have things happening. Oh my god. They do have a fair amount of logs in there, so that's good. And we're going to be making planks. All right, so they can store some amount, but we're going to need this warehouse up and running here shortly oh look at these gears are winding is that not great look at that it's great and they look like they actually work i love like the attention paid to this 
uh, all of these interactions. It just makes my little conveyor belt heart just flutter. <laughs> It's so nice. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right. I want to change this path thing here. Wait, can I delete this part of the path? Yeah, I can. Let's just delete this. In case this needs to become a stairway, for example. A stairway up. Uh, alternatively, we could have stairs going up and over the building. That is another option because of the flat top nature of this building. Now, it looks like we have... Okay, so we have these amount of beavers. Did we ever build these things? Oh no, they're planks. That's right. We needed the planks. I forgot about that. All right. So berries are currently happening. Let's see. Harvesting, harvesting. I want some prioritizing on planting for the next season. I'm kind of, kind of thinking just filling in this area with some planting of crops. Let's build some more potatoes out here so that we can have those farmers more active and like not such a sort of lag time between growing and harvesting. All right, what's going on here? Okay, we don't have enough workers for here. I think what I want, oh geez, I forgot to pause this thing. No, stop. Okay, you guys get fired from over there. Um, Let's see, lumberjack flag. I'm gonna take this one off, I think, or pause it. Can we, does this work? If we have plant, oh, plants, trees, and bushes. Okay, so they don't actually uh, harvest the trees and the bushes. Let's see, that one is working there. This one ex is an extension. I'm gonna take this one off because I think we don't need millions of them. I'll just turn this one on instead. Okay, so do we have a forester? There, we do have one forester, that's good. Now this storage place, we wanna do allow none and we want to store here planks so yeah store i don't know a hundred planks that seems like enough probably too many but it's fine we are starting to get them though look at this we have one of these things built this is kind of great kind of great what do you think good stuff <laughs> all right anyway i think that um i think that we're gonna look at the Aw, look at that. They're all getting cozy and, yeah, nestled into their new home. Aw, that's nice. I want to build more houses, but I want to want to build them, like, up top and stuff. So, anyway, I think it is a good time to finish off this episode for now. Um, I'm hoping to do, to record more of this game before the demo period ends. Um, but anyway, if I don't get a chance to do so, I'm really looking forward to the release of this game or at least more, more something, more beta testing, more whatever, whatever gives us a chance to play. It's good stuff. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.